so when uh, our boys were two, we put them on a waiting list to see a private paediatrician. And when they were just under two and a half, they were diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I really wanted to make sure I provided the kindy and the teachers with as much information about the boys as possible before they started. Um, so I spoke to all the staff that are going to be involved with my boys at, at kindy. I took down reports from the paediatrician, from the occupational therapist, the speech therapist. Um, I really I needed them to be able to understand my boys before they even met them in order for them to be able to include them properly. I am a additional needs assistant, have been for many years working at several different community kindergartens in Queensland. When I work in a team with the, the teacher, um, I am an extension of what, what she needs me to be in the room. I will give her feedback of uh, what is happening with the child. Um, we will set goals for that child, uh, very sm small goals to begin with. Some of the communication strategies we use are a daily communication book, which goes home. Um, also the planning cards, so the, the parents have a visual of what their child has done, as well as the um, slideshow on the whiteboard um, of an afternoon and uh, also their portfolios. Sarah, thank you for coming in today from the ECDP. Um, I have a little boy in my kindy room that I would really like some advice on and some strategies to use. I had a little boy who was signing and um, we could communicate, but then I, um, I initiated teaching the sign to the friends in his group so they could communicate with him as well. The kindy teachers and I had already spoken about our goals for the boys for the year, um, but we came down for a planning meeting with the ECDP teachers um, so that we could all make sure that we were working on the same goals and using the same methods and the same language to achieve those goals. Mm -hmm.